I was hesitant to say this while we, while we were hanging out with that horse because I didn't want to scare anybody like the kids. But uh, I have a huge fear of horses. Like my heart, is, not my heart, but like I just my body feels super nervous. I can feel a pulse in my hand right now. I've only been that close to a horse once in my life and I was freaked out. Um, I've actually been really close to wild horses, but like not that close. Anyways, that was kind of like confronting a little fear of mine a little bit. And I still didn't even have the guts to reach out with my own hand and pet it. But I kind of let it like munch on my sweater a little bit. Super beautiful animals, I love them. But I just, it's kind of just a thing where I have a lot of respect for them. And I also just, they're such powerful wild animals. So it just makes me nervous being that close to them. I had some friends growing up, some family friends that rode horses and stuff. And so I had a chance to be really close to them when I was younger. And I was super stoked until I got really close. And it, I kind of, like I said, kind of naturally saw that power and that just had that respect as a young kid. So yeah, horses just freak me out, but I love them. Like love them a hundred percent. It's not like I am afraid of them cause I don't like them. So that was super crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty stoked and Moshe pet him. Moshe pet the horse. And then daddy kind of let him munch him on his sweater. So anyways, we're coming back to the car here. Gnarly. Gnarly Charlie. That's what the horse's name is. <laughs> Gnarly Charlie. That's what I'm going to call him. You are? Take a bite of your egg first. Hey, careful. Don't push him out of the doorway. Alright guys, good morning. From Reno, as always. Beautiful day. It's been thunderstorming every afternoon the past two days. Um, clouds and rain at, at night. But it's been kind of nice. It's been like 70 degrees and raining. But yeah, another beautiful day in the morning here. These guys are firing off. I'm gonna be surfing at around 1.30 today. Stoked to get out there with a couple new guys. Seems like the scene's starting to grow. So I'm excited about that. And I'm super excited to announce that I hit 100 subscribers last night. So thank you guys if you just subscribed over the weekend. Thank you so much. For subscribing so now I'll have an easy link that's what I get for being a hundred subscribers now the next goal is a thousand once I hit a thousand I can start monetizing and put ads on my videos so that I can earn money on it because as of right now I don't get paid to do this I do it just for fun and just for you guys so good morning thank you
Alright guys, what's up? Where to even start right now? Um, I have a ton of footage, which is what you guys have just seen. <laughs> that was a couple hours worth of footage, believe it or not. Boiled down into eight minutes, I believe. Just finished editing the vlog, I'm dropping it tonight. I've already started filming the next vlog, which is why I'm dropping this one. Um, I was going to scratch the last one, but there's some key moments in there. Uh, Dan, congratulations on your first couple waves on the river. Super stoked. I wanted to post that. I felt that he deserved a little showcase of his own in the vlog, so got you in there, buddy. And let's surf again soon. Um, we just shot yesterday with Reno Tahoe. These guys here. It actually ended up being a little bit better, I thought, than the Nevada Magazine shoot. Um, we got a really sick drone shot of the three of us. I'll play that clip here for you guys real quick. So yeah, that's a clip that somebody took on the sidelines, not the drone shot, of course. The drone is above. You can see it in the very beginning of the clip. Um, but yeah, uh, Reno Tahoe got some really sick shots. They got some photos. They're going to share them with me soon. So hopefully I'll have those on the next vlog for you guys. Super pumped about that footage. Um, they're not releasing a magazine, so they can just share it with me as soon as they get it all ready to go. Um, and like I said, with Nevada Magazine, I'm going to have to hold off showing you guys until about July when they start promoting that July-August issue of Nevada Magazine. <sighs> what else? Oh, tomorrow I'm competing in the River Festival. Uh, they have a SUP surf competition on May 11th down at the river at hole three, our wave. And John and I are competing. I think it's mostly out of towners that use stand up paddle boards and paddles and stuff. Um, so we will be sort of unique in the fact that we paddle into it and we surf it. And our boards are way shorter than theirs, so. Yeah, wish us luck with that. We'll be doing that tomorrow. And yeah, I've surfed a lot this week, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys for the day, and we'll see you next time.